What's going on guys? We're back with another Lost Ark video. Today we're going to be going over the shop, what is worth it, what is not worth it, and how you can get this blue premium currency right here for free with in-game currency, no money spent. That way you can buy the Crystalline Aura every month for free, no money spent at all. Which, by the way, the Crystalline Aura is the first thing that we need to go over. This is the number one thing that you guys need to be buying every single month. As you see right here, it costs $10 a month if you want to be buying it with straight up money. If you want to be buying it with the crystals, it's 420 blue crystals. So you guys can think of this kind of as like your monthly subscription for buying or for playing the game. So I do recommend you guys always have this up. Is it necessary? Not 100% necessary. It just has a lot of things that make life more convenient in the game, such as the triport being free, the ocean liner fee to decrease by 50% off, more daily rapport actions, that more bifrost slots, a whole bunch of different cooldowns go down. So overall, this just makes life a lot more easier and more convenient. Now we also have these starter packs in here which give you the extra character slots, some more crystals, and this one as well, extra title character slot extension. And this one gives you the aura and the basic supplies chest. So as you saw right here, the aura is $10 as it is, it is. So this is $10 for the basic supplies chest and we can go ahead and click right here if you didn't know. And you can see exactly what's in here. It gives you basically HP potions. So. If you're in need of HP potions in the future, maybe this is something you might want to buy in the future. Early game, don't need to worry about this, and honestly late game, unless you're doing a hardcore raiding and you're just missing out on this stuff, you don't need to worry about this either. But there is one thing that I specifically wanted to share with you guys in this video, is over here, if you guys head over to, I believe it's the PAX, is it the PAX? No, it's not the PAX, unless it's in special. Is it in recommended? It's in recommended. So the level 50 level complete pack right here. What is this? This right here, we can cover over it and view details. This gives you 2,600 of the blue crystals. And if we check just right here, this gives you 3,600 crystals for $80, guys. $80 gets you 3,600 crystals or $11 gets you 2,600 crystals. So 1,000 crystals less for $70 less. This is a no-brainer, guys. Make sure if you don't buy anything else in the shop with your rainbow gems, you at least buy this right here. This will save you a ton of money. Hopefully, they never remove this from the shop so everybody can buy this at least once. But this is the number one buy that everyone needs to make sure that they buy. Because, as I just said, you're saving basically like $70. It's a little bit less because you're not getting exactly $3,600. But you're basically saving about $50 or so. So make sure you buy this first before you worry about anything else. Because you can then use these blue crystals to buy, as you saw, the monthly pack. So from this right here, you're getting 2,600 crystals. And then you can buy the Crystalline Aura right here with those 2,600 crystals. Which will give you about a couple months of gameplay for free. How much it is? I don't know. I don't want to do it off the top of my head. I'd say probably about five five months or so of free Crystalline Aura. That's pretty worth it to me. So that right there will be the number one buy that you guys get. Make sure you get the level pack. Then the other things that you guys might be interested in are the skins, which as of right now there's only this one skin. It's not looking too good to be honest. So I'd recommend a hard pass on that unless you're into that kind of stuff. And then you got the mounts and the pets. And these two pets right here you were able to get for free just by watching a stream on Twitch, if you guys didn't know that. If you guys watch a stream on Twitch, connect your uh, account to Twitch, you'll get a drop and then you guys can get this pet for free. So buying this is also kind of not worth it because you can get it for free. Now. That's pretty much all that you're going to need to worry about from the shop. If you check over here, it's got some daily things from the uh, shop right here. As you saw, blue crystals are pretty expensive. So I would use this sparingly on this. If it's something you really need on here, go ahead and get it. But as you saw, it's actually pretty expensive to be doing this. So I don't recommend buying this unless you absolutely have to. Now, if we head over to the last thing I wanted to go over is the currency exchange. 
if we click the currency exchange right here, it will show you that you can purchase gold. You guys can purchase gold with your premium currency, the rainbow gems right here. So what happens when you want to try to buy it? So as of right now, gold is pretty, pretty expensive, honestly. This was actually higher earlier this morning. So if you click the question mark right here, this tells you purchase costs. That's not, it's not loading. I guess there is no minimum right now. That's interesting. There was a minimum earlier or a maximum. So as of right now, the minimum transaction amount is 238 rainbow gems. What does that mean? It means the one right here basically is 238. So this is 238 rainbow gems will buy you 79 gold. That's basically what it means. So if you change this to a two, it will double your rainbow gem cost to 476. And you can't change that. This is a set amount for the rainbow gems. What you can change is your sale price. You can change the amount of gold that you get to 100. You probably won't get that unless the market goes back up. But you, that is a way to get more gold for the amount of gems that you're trying to spend. So as you see, I can go back down to one and we'll be buying 100 gold for 238 rainbow gems. If you change it to a two, now we're buying 200 gold for 476. So that's basically what that means. Now on the flip side, if you click buy crystals, it's the opposite. Now you're the one that's selling the gold and you're buying the crystals, but you also have to spend the rainbow gems. So buying the purple, buying the blue gems is a little bit more expensive in that manner. So what does this mean right here? This is your gold that you're purchasing with, and this is the quantity, and this is the amount of, that, of the blue gems you will be getting. So again, you can click right here to press 2, press 3, press 4. What is that doing? This is making you pay more gold. So if you only want to spend 79 gold, you leave it at 1. If you want to change it, you can go ahead and change it, put it at 20. Probably no one's going to sell it to you for 20, but you could do that. So as of right now, you could look up right here to the recent prices. This tells you the recent sale prices of gold and the recent crystal sale offers, which is people trying to sell their crystals. So as you see right now, someone posted it up for 90 gold and someone posted it up for 83 at the lowest. So if we wanted to buy some crystals right now, as we see right now, 78 is the lowest. So we could put 78 into here and they're selling 2,900 crystals. We're only wanting to buy 95 right here. So we could change it up to 10 if we had a lot of gold and we could buy all of this right now instantly. Now, if we wanted to go to buy the gold, now we're looking at this side right here. So let's go ahead and look on the sale price. Everything's basically 78, 78 sold, and 100 crystals sold. So that's all basically the same thing. So that's pretty much it. That's how you guys buy and sell gold. And then you just click right here to add your listing. Oh, that's where it shows where the minimum is. So as you see, the minimum price and the maximum price. So that's how you guys buy gold and you buy premium blue crystals in the game with in-game currency if you guys don't want to be spending money on the game every month. But that's all I've got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this kind of content, feel free to subscribe and I'll be putting out some more Lost Ark content because I'm really enjoying this game right now. And let me know if you guys have any questions or any other video guides you would like me to make and I will be on it as fast as I can. I'm working on leveling up my character right now, so once I get them up to 50, I'll be posting a few more videos. But that's all I've got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to hit a, hit a subscribe, leave a comment in the bottom, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!